Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm currently working on a live right at the money uh, spread trade. And uh, what I'm going to do, though, since I need to, I need a focus here. We're going to watch this. We're going to watch my worm. This is a worm's eye view, one minute chart, and then we'll backtrack and look at this on the. Uh, this was all pre-planned last night. We'll look at the bird's eye view here in just a second. But I got to watch this, and I'm going to show you how to time this entry. And so I've been watching RTY this morning market opened we've been forming higher highs and higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs and then uh, it's trying to form a higher low right here but we're getting up above the plus one deviation getting up into really really strong supply which i highlighted last night and so now i know i told you last night i said hey we get up into here all you need to do is stay so crazy patient and just wait for a really good one minute candle lower high. So that's what I'm trying to work right here. The only thing that's really iffy is we have the big round number 1700. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and enter right around 1697 up in this zone here. And then I'll put my mental stop at 1702. So that way I can use possibly 1700 as resistance if I need to. And so you can kind of see we're getting this move up. I wanna get filled around 1697 to lower that risk, increase the reward. So I had a little mini sell off and I'm trying to retrace up into here. Um, you'll notice I don't, when these, I don't like entering on higher highs. I like to kind of wait, retrace. And if I don't get the retrace and it takes off, that sucks. Don't get me wrong, it really sucks. Um, but, and we, and, and we may miss it, but um, you know, this is how you stay so crazy, disciplined and patient waiting for these lower high entries. So I just need this to push up just a little bit more. And I'll just go ahead and enter this trade, put my mental stop above 1700. Um, you know, you can po possibly do, so here we go, here we go. Uh, I got filled at 1696. Um, we can look at the trade here. So filled at 1696, take profit at 1691.8. So that's a 0.25 deviation move like I teach you in, you know, like I've been teaching you in the chat room here. So uh, plus point, uh, point plus 0.5 deviation move, as you can see, is about eight points. So 0.25 is about four points. So that's what I'm going for. Uh, you can obviously when volatility picks up, you can have larger uh, TP targets. And so now that we got filled at 1696, now we're a robot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and duplicate our mental stop. I'm going to put my mental stop above at 17.02, above the 1700. So I'll go ahead and make that red. That means loss. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And then 16, what was it, 91.9. Make that green. So now we're a robot. So blue, in, blue is our um, where we got filled. There's our mental there's our TP. And so honestly about the mental is all, again, it's a mental stop. And so for me, it's just, if we just start getting up in this zone here, that tells me I need to start looking to go ahead and just exit the trade. And so we can see exactly when I got filled, you can see how I've waited properly for this proper change control, like I told you to do in the trade plan. And so my entry was at 1110. Let's go ahead and highlight 1110. So there is my entry, okay? So you can kind of see how I waited. There was that low, and then I just kind of waited my entry right there. I would say that's another valid entry. So if you missed this one, I would say this is a valid entry right here. And so now, let me take you through the full anatomy of this trade. So first things first, let's look at that 15-minute chart. Actually, sorry, let's go to the trade plan. So you kind of see this was posted uh, 14 hours ago. So every single evening, you're going to get the trade plan. You're going to get the charts. You're going to know exactly, exactly what to do. There's no guesswork. So you can even listen to my words. I said, hey, we make our way up into here. Wait for proper change control. We have so much uh, supply, 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 supply. So I want to be selling as high as I possibly can at proven supply zones to the left. And then I want to uh, make sure that I'm entering on proper change change control. So you can kind of see uh, when we zoom out of this sucker, we can see all of this. Um, obviously, we have quite a bit of supply up there. That's all time high supply. But this trade's mainly based off of that supply, that supply, that supply, and then now we are back. And so uh, getting the spread, right? 
Um, all I need to do is just get a little bit of a move down uh, 16918, like I said. And then I have all of this as, I guess if you want to call it soldiers, right? And so I know that there's massive supply right here. And then I have the 1700 soldiers. So if I do make it up into there, I'm hoping that it sells off a 1700. So now we just sit back, we're a robot, let this trade play out. If we do start getting up into here, I'll wait for a higher low and then I'll go ahead and exit the trade. And uh, so we'll pause this and we'll come back and we'll watch this sucker play out. Quick update here, um, we're not getting, it's been a while, and bad news is, uh, so you can kind of see my entry was right there. The bad news is that I had my perfect tape profit ready to go right there and I didn't, it didn't get filled. And so I had to been waiting here during lunchtime doldrums, super low volume, and I uh, got my TP order ready to go right there. So if I can just get a, if I can get uh, about a point and, point and a half, and I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and take the, and the, the name of this game is to get green and bank the green. $30 per contract. So if you're trading multiple contracts, it's about a, four contracts, 120 bucks. It's, this is pretty simple stuff. This is all pre-planned for you. I told you in the plan, run up into here and then wait for change control. Okay, and that's exactly what I did. You had an entry there. You actually had a good entry there. Wait for change control before you enter and then have proper uh, TP targets based off of volatility. So 0.25 deviation move is roughly four points today. And um, since I'm trading lunchtime doldrums, I'm not going to wait for four points. I'm actually just going to get three points here and take profit. So uh, just a couple more points here. So 16.92.8. Uh, 92.8, well, if I do that 0.8 instead of 16.93, that 0.8, it'll it'll pay the fees. So uh, we'll watch, hopefully this gets taken out. Watch, we'll come right back. Just about to TP, I'm ready to be out of this thing, to be honest. It wasn't a huge move down, but it, uh, it still worked pretty good. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and take that. And so it wasn't the best. Uh, you know, a little bit of profit there. So you can kind of, but the honestly, it's not a, in the beginning. You notice that I trade one contract just to show you. Uh, honestly, all these videos are, so I'm not trying to sit here and brag how much money I make. These videos are meant uh, just to show you the, you can kind of see too, right? We're starting to get oversold into the short-term demand. It's just TP. We'll move on. We'll, we'll regroup. Uh, well, I mean, this <laughs> move on. It's already almost 1 o'clock. It is 1.15 Eastern. And then uh, let the sucker do its deal, where, and then we'll trade it again tomorrow. But um, you can see how all this is pre-planned. Um, get up into that zone, wait for change control, arrow is my entry, uh, and then there's the take profit. Pretty simple stuff. Again, all of the in the monies would have been profitable. Everything is pre-planned. Get these charts, get these trade plans. Uh, good stuff. Message me or if you have any questions.